What is up, people? I am ACR. I've got a quick video for you guys today. This is a program for automating multi boxing Diablo 2 Resurrected. You can see me there launching my second account, and it automatically launches with some custom settings to make it windowed. Pretty easy to use. Um, I will show you guys how to install it, but before I do that, a little bit of warnings and indemnification, I guess. Number one, downloading and running random programs off the internet is a little sketchy potentially. Um, I did glance over the code for this and I will emphasize glance uh, and it seemed okay, but I definitely did not do any kind of thorough analysis or anything like that. I will have a link in the description for the version that I installed if you wanna do that, um, as well as for the main uh, repository, it's up on GitHub. Warning number two, this is probably technically against Blizzard's TOS. They do allow multi-boxing. I am personally not going to buy three computers to run three copies of the game. Um, what this does is it automates the process explore killing the handle that checks for other instances of Diablo 2. And it's probably against TOS along with all sorts of other things. Do you trade on Discord? That is probably technically also against these TOS. Realistically, I think the TOS are kind of um, almost a sort of for my friends everything for my enemies the TOS type of thing in Diablo 2 resurrected there is currently auto leveling bots that auto progress through the game so if they really want to ban people for this I don't know that's kind of a bit of a dick move in my opinion but I'm sure other people will have differing opinions but let's get to installing this. I will have links in the description for everything. The very first thing we want to do is go to the GitHub link. Then we are going to download the code as a zip file and extract it basically wherever you want to. I just put it in my documents personally. Next up, you are going to want to go down, scroll down here. There are actually instructions how to install stuff. I did stuff a little bit different than this though. So I'll go over what I did, but you could probably follow these instructions as well, but you do need to download this handle version 5.0. That is what lets us automate sort of the process explorer stuff that the normal process explorer method does. Once you've got that handle downloaded, there'll be three files in that you want to grab the handle 64 one and you want to put that in the handle folder in the d2 loader folder then you want to go ahead and open the accounts csv i'm opening it with visual studio code because i have stuff for editing csvs in there excel would also work you can use notepad but it will be a little bit scuffed then everything here in the csv is um, pretty self-explanatory you put in the username, your BNet password, your BNet email. You can, don't have to put in your password, it'll prompt and you can fill it in later and then it will do the secure string thing which encrypts it a little bit for you so you don't have that plain text password floating around. Again, the GitHub readme and GitHub link there has quite good instructions on what you need to do, what you need to fill in where. One thing I did run into is my game path here was not the same one as the default game path they have. So I don't know if I have a weird game path or the default install has a weird game path, but there is a config file there where you can go in and change that. Then you just go in, right click, run with PowerShell. And this is my first time launching it. It worked pretty much flawlessly for me. There is one issue I've run into is that um, my Discord push to talk seems to not work when I'm in this. I filed an issue, it'll maybe get fixed. I'll maybe looking at fixing it. I think I kind of know what's causing it, um, but that is a bit of a thing if you do use push to talk or anything like that might end up not working because I think it does end up spawning the D2R instances in admin mode. That is my theory. Anyways, you can see me type in my passwords there um, and it sets up those sort of encrypted passwords in that file so they're not sitting there in plain text. Um, but yeah, that's it. I will be playing some D2R, uh, Players 8, Hardcore, got a team together. We're going to be running for kind of a three hour act, act five hell, something like that. Um, we'll see how that goes. If you're interested, I'll be playing probably through the end of the weekend, maybe through the end of the next weekend, but probably not much after that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Oh, uh, I should also mention there is a bit of stuff there for having custom options. It's called the setting switcher brackets optional in the readme there. Um, and you can have different options files for each 
uh, instance of D2 that you spawn. It's a little scuffed because you can't like save to those options really once the things launch. But anyways, just read through the thing there. It, it explains it much better than I could over speech. Or at least that's what I'm going to tell you because I am too lazy uh, and I've got about uh, half an hour before I've got to meet up before the ladder resets. So anyways, hope everybody has a good ladder reset and have yourself a great day.